Hi, uh, APEC friends. That's me too. Uh, this is Edison Shing from Blue Focus. Uh, it's my honor today to uh, share with you guys about uh, my experience was with working with influencers, also my some of my insights and insight about its industry. So first of all, I'm going to share my screen. So today the topic is um, influencer marketing power and outlook, especially in the U.S. First of all. You're gonna see some uh, real fast uh, facts and surveys about uh, the influencer impact and the, what the uh, market looks like and how the people see the influencer marketing impact. It's a survey of over 200 companies and marketing agencies as to how they felt the ROI of influencer marketing was compared to other advertising channels. We see on the there's a chart on the right. Forty one percent see uh, influencer marketing as comparable to, and thirty four percent see it's as a better tool than other marketing tools. Uh, we're gonna see the company intentions and customer results of using influencer market tool. Is, uh, on the left, we see there's a survey ask uh, uh, companies about what reasons chose the decision to use influencer marketing. We just see the uh, top three reasons. Top one is 85% uh, 85 of the companies see they, uh, they, they use the uh, uh, influencer marketing tool as to uh, increase the brand awareness. And 71% they need to attract a new audience. And 64% they, they want to use a tool as a sales driven. And we see the customer results, but how they see the social media directly impacted their purchasing habits. 59% say they learned, and 45% they actually purchased. And 39% they use the discount that the influencers are shared, which looks uh, reasonable, right? And what does the audience um, believe when we see the opinions of influencers? This survey shows that 71% uh, of, uh, of the audience believe that all products are sponsored. And 33, they say the only, uh, only the influencers only promote what they use. And 30% of the audience, they say they trust the influencers. And 30%, they are very hard selling, they unfollow. So are micro influencers better for pushing products? We see there are two surveys showing that uh, micro channels are more interesting. And 30% 30, 30 of the audience say uh, the micro channels are more trustworthy. So what is the audience category uh, and how real is the connection? There's a survey show that uh, the survey says over, is for over results of over a thousand adults what, inducted to create this uh, general category for audience members. And 43%, they say they are not connected and they do not trust. And 23% of the audience, they say, they gener gener generally trusted the influencers. And 30%, they say they are connected to influencers and they trust it. So 43% compared to uh, 47%, which makes the result looks like actually in the real market, there are more people trusted influencers. So when we see the audience, what so what does the audience of the influencer markets looks like? Uh, they are male, but females were strongly represented, but not quite enough to call it a tie. And under 35 years old, 
uh, compared to millennials and Generation Z, not a big surprise. And middle income group at the top, low income households were strong second, and high income households were distant third. And this, in respect of the location, they are they based in cities, and rural was strong second, suburbia was a distant third. Um, here are some of the significant KOLs in the market. Uh, uh, there are linear tech tips, Unbox Therapy, KC Ness, and Mr. Who's the Boss. They are uh, one of the uh, top mega KOLs in the markets. And Jeffree Star is a, is a very significant uh, beauty and skincare KOL in the market. So when we talk about the audience, what's the Generation Z looks like? Especially nowadays, 2022. I'm going to ask you a question. So on the left, here's a NBA star, superstar, LeBron James. And on the right, which is a, a Felix Kelberg. Um, and he's better known as PewDiePie, as, as a YouTuber the largest social media personality in the West. Who do you think generation wants to be? Uh, NBA star or a uh, KOL? I'm gonna, we are gonna see the result. PewDiePie, yeah. And 8% more say they admire PewDiePie more than Lebron. Um, as though as they, they are equally recognized, 95% of the generation Z, they, they know both of the people. So we see the influencers are the most trusted uh, opinion source outside friends and family. Generation Z tends to social media for their primary source of entertainment media. The increase of position of influencers in the daily lives coupled with the percent uh, potentially influencers are more uh, authentic than other celebrities. That's earned some of their, uh, their extremely high levels of respect and trust. And actually in the real life, real life, uh, the influencers, they have their real jobs too. Maybe they're doctors, they're lawyers and the astronauts, the, the, but they also stream their daily life in the future. So, um, how to make the business of uh, Generation Z by using the influencer, uh, influencers. So 54% of the Generation Z wants to be paid influencers as a career. They want real people in the advertisement, 63%. They follow brands online, 40%. And they trust, it, they trust the influencers, uh, 52%. Who is Generation Z when we talk about it? Okay, boomers. So compared to other uh, audience groups, Generation Z takes the most, uh, the largest percentage of the population group. Uh, they are the largest and the most aesthetically diverse generation ever in the United States. Nine, about 90 million. And they grew up during the uh, recession. They have never known a world without internet compared to other groups. So what has shifted from Generation Y in terms of born in uh, between 1981 to 1995 to Generation Z, uh, which is uh, born between 1996 to 2010? So that the main characters of Generation Y, they are collaborative, idealistic. They use their experience to uh, when they purchase or make a decision. And they're being part of the group translated over to being part of a brand to signal to, uh, to a, a signal identity. On the contrary, Generation Z, they are more independent, pragmatic, and they wants to use their money worth and for something they can use, not a memory. They also very self and uh, they have self identity. They live on the internet, give them confidence to be themselves. It also tells them that only the unique are remembered. 
here are some interesting facts and signaling uh, significant numbers of uh, to describe Generation Z. They have more than five of devices as a multitask, multitasks, maybe phone or a, a tablet, a computer, or a, 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 a game machine, or even a VR machine. The, uh, the attention span, eight seconds for Generation Z, short but processing faster than anyone else. They watch 13 hours of uh, television a week, not only on TV, but also on streaming, uh, like Netflix. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the potency of waiting to pay more is 68% compared to other groups. And the eighty percent, eighty five percent of of Generation Z, uh, the discovery by things by social media. Uh, social media is how Generation Z finds how products, which is not a surprise given it dominates their social lives. So Generation Z buy stuff, but they buy based on perceived value. We see. Um, Generation Z may be known for its frugal, do-it-yourself attitude. That does not mean they are not spending their money. In fact, they are outpacing millionaires. Generation Z comes on as many U.S. dollars, 60, uh, 600 billion worth of business due to their own monetary power and higher than ever before influencers on, uh, influence on market purchases. Uh, here are some uh, some Generation Z gamers characters. Gaming is very important, and they play games regularly. Wow, ninety one percent, which is very high, and they watch the game streams. Uh, seventy five percent. This is very interesting. This is a major increase over million else. Uh, game stream views is a social event with Generation Z. They do their uh, online or offline peers. And thirty percent last time they uh, on mobile games they're spending fifty five more times than billionaires on non game apps joining the workforce will shift this. So how do we after we study the facts and the market and how how to market to Generation Z? There are some tips. First of all, influencers. The so long-term relationship with the influencers paid and voluntary deep integration build up the influencers. Second, customization. Makes the ability to let your con consumers express themselves to others a celebrity function. Engagement. Engage, engage with your consumers through community events, listen and empower implement their desires in a practical way. And KOL marketing, there we see how here we talk about the mechanics, what the service overview looks like. First of all, evaluation. Um, as an um, uh, agency, we actually provide clients with the best fit KOL and pro, uh, um, promotional formats and ensures through data analytics and creation. We design creative marketing campaigns for clients that meet their, uh, meet their needs. And most important, execution. We plan and coordinate for single and multi-platform campaigns. So first of all, we, we combine the the data analysis and the culture understanding to ensure the brand and KOL commercially. And we create the best content. We include the KOL in the cre creative process to ensure the message meets audience uh, expectations. The most um, uh, uh, opinions, uh, we use the uh, our own uh, influencer group and all the marketing solutions offers are on the table. 
these uh, are actually are the daily mechanics that we uh, offered our clients. Uh, here are some more KOL leaders and uh, famous mega KOLs uh, in the worldwide. We see PewDiePie, we see Unbox Therapy, we see Linear Tags, and also some others famous, famous ones. And there are more and more influencers um, popping out, not only on YouTube, but also TikTok, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, even YouTube shorts at the newest channel. So what's a, a QL service uh, look like when we walk through it, the whole process? There are three steps, preparation, execution, and follow-up. First of all, we need uh, when you, when you start to use a KOL, we need to prepare, make the strategic plans centered on the client's needs and match the KOL that fits the target audience. There are three um, mini steps inside of it. Product analysis. You need to know what kind of products the, the client needs to promote, and to comp to match the product, you need to select the KOL and make the strategic planning based on the uh, client's budgets and time and roadmap, et cetera. And second, execution. So agency and client, we actually uh, work together to create ideas plus the video scripts, make the scripts uh, with the QL together to make the interesting content. Then the KOL start to make the production plus the final editing. Then we magnify the promotion, discuss uh, creative ideas and other details with the KOL, track KOL video uh, planning, production, and publishing. At the end of it, we follow up. We monitor the results and we reuse the video IP sometimes. So this is uh, actually a quick walkthrough of the QL service uh, when we use it in the market. So is it more intelligent way of QL marketing? Yes. Nowadays, it's very popular that we use a, a cloud platform for global influencers. For example, uh, we Blue Focus uh, designed a cloud platform called Somo that helps build an intelligent cloud platform for e-commerce. There are many, uh, many, many cloud platforms uh, in the markets, not only Somo, but, but as a, an example, I'm going to show you guys like what, what the platform looks like. So Somo is a marketing service platform for the global influencers trade. It provides brands with influencer search engine, influencer data services, and uh, advertising effectiveness monitoring, as well as providing influencers with campaign orders from global quality brands. It helps you find the ideal uh, influencer ambassador for your brands. And it is a platform marketing tool for overseas influencers. So first of all, it's a search engine. It has official partners. Uh, so more is a global influencer managing tool of Blue Focus, which is an official agent of Meta and Google. Third, uh, it's a very effective collaboration way. And also it's a butler service. So uh, excellent consultants with years of experience in overseas marketing provide you with a one-to-one -one, uh, butler service. So it's a, also to use a, a platform, it's a full process online trading experience. The whole process is, uh, is, is done online from event creation to communication, publishing and payment, everything. And uh, it is real time tracking of results compared to the traditional way. So the track the entire campaign, uh, the data of each influencer's work, the profile of the fines and the effectiveness of their advertising effectiveness. So the whole thing is data-based QL selection and strategic optimization. It's an exclusive influencer SaaS platform for game 
customers based on Google uh, exclusive API docking. Is navigating the candidate uh, selection based on the performance index of your delivery data, and it's full monitoring of game uh, influencers and and their content. There are some key uh, characters of cloud platform, so it's KOL database and the retrieval, and there is uh, influencer analysis uh, selection. Is everything is online, the tracking and the effects of influencer cooperation. You can see the real results and then analysis and tracking of the all the indicators for influencer videos. So, but, uh, in the end, I'm going to show you some of the case studies of of uh, uh, what kind of services we have provided to our clients and. Uh, to use the influencers as one of the, the their their major uh, marketing tool. First of all, Anchor. Uh, the background in 2020, Anchor released a new nano fast charging plug, one of the fastest and most uh, stable plugs of their kind. At the same time, Apple announced that the latest uh, iPhone 12 will no longer come with a charging plug, so providing an excellent promotion opportunity for the Anchor Nano. The goals of the marketing is grab some hot topics that often 12 no longer comes with a charging plug. Take advantage of the modernum to uh, greatly promote Nano as the best alternative to the original plug. After get, uh, receiving the request from the client, we uh, spent three months to make the campaign happen. Anchor with uh, with three head KOLs, twelve middle KOLs, and one hundred seventy KOCs to successfully promote nano products and increase Anchor's brand awareness and social platforms such as YouTube, in Instagram, and TikTok. The KOL of these collaborations are from technology and lifestyle, work work uh, efficiency, etc. The content forms produced include uh, IG gra graphics, IG story, IGTV videos, YouTube inter videos, implant videos, and TikTok videos, etc. The campaign finally reaches conversion rate of 2%, which is very good. So we see the re results of the campaign 2 million views, uh, about 550k plus likes, and 26k plus clicks. Next case, we see a gaming showcase, which is a Mobile Legends Bang Bang. And the background is a major game um, product owned by Mihitomi uh, Technology. is one of the most popular esports games in the international market, such as the Middle East, in a cycle of subsequent growth and uh, awakening activation. So, so the marketing tool uh, of this round is to create a monitor for the um, bang bang of the middle is uh, finals, and eight guests are selected to participate in the Christmas finals show match. So, by inviting KOLs to help promote the invite and partner with the local KSC soccer leagues, the brand awareness is to raise and uh, existing users are awakened. Uh, the project collaborated with made eight middle Eastern game KOL and attract the uh, target audience through the entire video, and plan video and live and live broadcast of YouTube games commentary. Uh, integrity uh, hashtag in related series of videos to to form a brand matrix and collaborate with the football league of the simple uh, sports competition project to invite stars to participate in the finals. So in, in the end, we can see the results of the campaign. 8.7 million views, uh, increased 31.7 uh, million followers. Uh, next showcase, we're going to uh, see Ecovax, which is uh, the background uh, is uh, Ecovax launches the latest T-series swiping robot 
D but T9 for the global market with a strong focus on the Asian market. Ecovax wants to uh, showcase and promote its latest home cleaning products to uh, Southeast Asian uh, customers in a more impression and deep rooted way. So the marketing tool uh, Ecovax wants to engage local uh, Singaporean consumers with well-known local influencers who are highly aware of showing fresh tech products and providing clear and easy to understand explanations for their fans. The core uh, objective is to increase product exposure and uh, generate strong brand exposure and uh, impression for their new product launches. After getting the, the brief, we uh, have Ecovax invited three local Instagram influencers to cooperate. And in terms of selection strategy, Ecovax did not choose the mega influencers, but choose the micro KOLs with a higher integration rate. And these influencers not only demonstrated a quick grasp and understanding brands and brand products, but also did a strong, a good job at creating naturally integrated lifestyle content through the original and creative execution. Some of them made a breakthrough in form and produced innovative evaluation content. This campaign can serve as a testament and a euro trails of future content. Um, at last, I'm going to show you um, the UFI product promotion. The background is like the UFI is a sm uh, smart home brand and is a well-known overseas e-commerce brand anchor, focusing on the field smart cleansing. Its uh, star products may, mainly include smart floor uh, sweepers, wireless hoovers, and car hoovers. The brand released two new products, mainly for the US and German market for new product exposure, exposure and promotion. So the marketing goals, uh, Yufi hopes to present different brand, brand effects by collaborating with um, technology and home evaluation influencers. In order to create a different path of the comp uh, competition, Yufi chose uh, TikTok for the KOL collaboration instead of traditional uh, ways like YouTube and Facebook. Based on the um, qualities of the platform, we collaborated with Dr. Mac for the, for, for the live broadcast to compare the doctor identity of the KOL and attract the more users. We actually launched an interesting topic on health. So this is the body no knowledge you have ever heard to collect questions from fans and answer them in the lab broadcast on the day of the life. We start with a general, general topic that move to the daily life of a doctor and, and session on bears and finally to pet their head treatment. At the end of the life, uh, a lucky draw for giveaway, exclusive discount codes and other benefits were uh, also introduced. The lab not only maximized the effects of KOL features, but also brought strong uh, publicity for the brand in the form of a blunt placement. As a result, we see um, there are 1.9 K audience watch the live stream, and 140K uh, audience they like the content, and 10K plus fans. Uh, increased in five days. There are 4.5 million uh, viewers of the content. Also, there are the, uh, the content uh, draw attracted 1.9K plus comments. So here are some basic knowledge and also some showcases uh, of uh, how to work with uh, influencers. Uh, I hopefully you guess um, after I give uh, this speech, you probably have a um, more clear picture of what influencers market looks like and how to work with them. And uh, maybe you can join 
the industry in the future. Welcome you guys into the influencers market. Thanks.